Hi. Okay, so I've got a new shipment arrived directly from China. So let's see what do I have here. I have the son of S20 box, two uh, units, and this should be, I think it should be a son of a uh, ceiling light. Yes, it is with a send cue card. <laughs> okay, the send cue cards usually give you about uh, 20 cents uh, for the next uh, <laughs> joking for the next patches. Okay, so let's see. This is the mounting light source new generation 24 watt and uh, 180 degree of light so let's open it okay so as you can see there is a son of circuit inside in the middle and okay it gave me Gave me wired connection to connect it to outlet. By the way, this is a wide range of voltage from 160 to 265. This is what is written, 20 watt power, which means it can be good for anywhere in the world. No matter where you live, it should be okay to work at your country. Okay, so let's connect it now to power. By the way, this is very dangerous and you can kill yourself if you are not familiar with all the rules. So please, if you are not really sure what you are doing, don't do it alone and contact uh, someone who is professional electricity technician or something. Okay, so I will try now uh, to power it on and then put it uh, with my cell phone and see if it works correct. First, let's understand how this works, okay. It's nice thing that they put it in the package, save me some effort to connect it. Okay, so let's connect it and see what happens. Oh, okay, one flash of light. Now, as you can see, the red LED is blinking. The first time I'm doing it, so I don't know how it should work at all. So I am in my phone and I will go to the Sun of application. Uh, which is which is something with E. Where did I put it? Don't find it yet. I see something familiar, but I don't think. Where is my son of application? Okay, let's try to download it again and hopefully it will find my installation. Okay, it is, as I thought, it is already on the phone. So I will open it from here and uh, okay, I, I will try to add it. Just a second, need to connect to my Wi-Fi in order to get it to work. So I will reopen it again. Quick pairing. Don't, sit, don't look at my password. Never mind. <laughs> 
joking. And now, now it is trying to find it. By the way, if it will not find, and it is not pairing well, so I will show you the way to do the reset for this unit and then you will be able to see it. Connecting to device, please wait. It is trying to search, of course, for new devices. Maybe I will zoom a little bit. A little bit. If it will not find, so there is a reset sequence. So I will show the sequence in order to get a reset. Usually when you are doing a reset, so the blinking will be maybe uh, faster. We will check it together in a minute. <coughs> Okay, I, I think that if he did not find it till now, so it will not find it. <coughs> Let's give it another minute. Okay, meanwhile I will tell you about the sequence. The sequence usually in solve project is to power it off and then power it on. Uh, wait uh, about uh, two seconds between power off and power on and do it exactly for five times. At the fifth times it will be blinking in another way that it was before and then it is ready for the pairing mode. So pairing fail. Before I will press try again I will do the sequence. So, now I'm powering off, so one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five. As you can see, it is now pairing different. Two blinking fast and one slow, and we will try again. Hopefully, it will find it fast. found second generation device so it is already been found it is written below in a, let's say font size 8 <laughs> or less registering the device give it a name so I will call it ceiling 1 because it is my first ceiling device you can give any name you would like and then it is connecting through the network. And in a few seconds it will be ready to use. Within device, as you can see it takes a while I don't know why, maybe now China is trying to hack my router at home and they can because I have a second firewall. <laughs> so it is adding the device. I have to say that it is more time than I'm expecting, but let's give it a try. In the meanwhile, while it is doing this, I will now open the second box. So I will zoom out a little. 
and let's see the second box. The second box is a Sonoff outlet, which is on off. What you should do is just connect it to outlet and then any device that will be connected to here can be controlled whether it is a lamp or I don't know what other things a, a coffee machine, a toaster but you have to beware about the limit the limit of the relay inside is 2 amps in my country we are uh, 230 volt which means it can tolerate up to 2.3 kilowatt if it is higher consumption device it may burn out so my advice is not to use uh, devices that consume a lot of power okay I can see that by the way the device is stuck I will do a restart to my phone and see what happens. Okay, it's a good thing to do it first time to know the limit. Maybe the device is not working properly. We will know in a second or a minute or I don't know. The pairing device of this one is the same. The advantage of this is that you have a button also. The button is like an on-off button, which means if you want to activate your device without the sound of application, just press the button and it will be uh, on or off depending. It is an every press changing the status. Okay, let's try again the sound off. And we will see if yes it could okay it was an error while uh, finishing uh, let's say the login between the devices but now as you can see I can control it one thing that I'm curious is if I can change I can change no I cannot change I thought that maybe because this are LED, so maybe I can change the device brightness. Let's see if it is available. Okay, by the way, if I'm going harder and share control. Okay, there are a few interesting things in the sound of application. First, it tells me that my firmware is old and by pressing the button, I can update the firmware. As you can see the firmware is now updating, doing some uh, blinking, which means that it is go to the internet, it take from the internet the new firmware and through your, the phone it is pairing with the device and downloading the new firmware to this box. This is quite impressive that everything is working. Also, there is ability to give a share to other devices or other phones. If you have few phones in your family and you want to enable control other phones to control this lamp also, it is available and you can share a link and it will work. It is still ah, doing it is still doing the firmware update. It looks like it finished. Still writing the old firmware. Let's recheck. Settings. Latest. Now it is written latest version. So it did work. Hardware and share control operation notification power state on off ah this is nice power state keep let's see if it is what I'm thinking which means that if I am powering it on 
and then I'm disconnecting the outlet and then reconnect it will not be off it will turn on because we, we told it to keep the last state and as you can see this is working properly also we have you the share button and in the share you can add permission to other registers uh, phones in the son of uh, application and you can give a timer permission and this is nice you can decide which control you would like to give also you have a timer a loop timer the timer is uh, now when you want on state so now it is scheduled for 30 minutes so we all i will press on so in 30 minutes it will turn uh, off it will turn let's see it is loading failed let's check network and liar <laughs> okay not every ah okay the power was off okay i will turn it off now just a second I will turn the device off it could not give the time operation because the device was off of course uh, by the way there, there is a timer inside so <coughs> if you will give it okay it will be now on look if I will put on in one minute so let's do a save so it will turn on in one minute now by the way I will show you the interesting thing I will power oh okay it was faster than uh, one minute because it didn't start immediately I can show you that the Sonoff has a built-in timer which means I will show what it means I will add now a uh, two minutes so it will be on in two minutes and I will save it <coughs> edit successfully now even if I will power off my phone or my device okay so it is now off the command to get it in two minutes back on is already here so after programming it no need to do anything else so we will see in a minute and maybe later I will do a movie about the son of outlet because this is already a long a long video more than I have expected just let's see that device is off and in about one and a half minute it should turn on because the command was added successfully which means that it got the command so till it starts uh, the outlet is good uh, for usually i would say lamps and maybe a tv that you want to power on and off i mean lcd not a plasma things that consume i suggest less than 1000 uh, watt because you want to be on the safe side and not to get to the uh, power that you get as you can see this is working fine and that's all for now and thank you bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.